What's going on guys? Drones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, man, we're going to be taking a look at this Hubson X4 Star Pro. It's the H507A, all right? Now, when this H507A first came out, it didn't come out with the transmitter. It came out with just the drone itself and you would just hook it up to the app and stuff like that. And you essentially hook it up to the app and you would just fly it the drone using the app only now they came out with the well not now but a few years ago two three years ago they came out with the x4 star pro okay which is being able to be hooked up with this transmitter right here all right this is the x4 star pro the h507a all right nice looking beginner quadcopter especially with gps underneath 50 bucks guys i pay like 49 dollars so I mean, underneath 50 bucks, you get this X4 Star Pro, and that's a pretty good deal. I mean, you're not going to find too many GPS drones in that price point, if any. You know what I'm saying? $50 is really cheap, you know what I'm saying? Especially for accurate GPS positioning, live stream, follow me, functional waypoints. It has all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Let's see what the back says. Oh, has some stuff on the side, too. See what it says on the side. 50 meter, 50 meters, I guess. Wi-Fi control. Max time, max flight time is eight minutes. Supported SD cards is 16 gig or 32 gig. Class 10. You know what I'm saying? Kingston or Sandisk is what it says. Charging time about 130 minutes. It's a 7.6 volt, 550 milliamp hour LiPo battery. You know what I'm saying? And the required uh, iOS and Android systems is right here for this uh for the app for this guy so it tells you everything on the side of the box before you even have to open it so you you know already know everything you already know what the battery is like you already know the flight time you're supposed to get the sd card you're going to need so you already know that it supports the sd card without even have to open it that's really nice huffton does a great job especially at getting the beginners into the hobby it has a lot of different features that it lists on the bottom you know this is the ht 009 remote controller. I know these remote controllers can be behind it to different uh, hubs and quads. Man, it's just really nice, man. Really excited for the price point. I think it should perform really well. Hubson is known to put out really good stuff. So we're just going to unbox this guy today. Hopefully, if it's not too windy here today, guys, I'll be able to get this guy out for a quick flight review. And with the only, I know I'm not going to have enough time to go over all the features of this quad because this the battery such a short flight time and this quad is packed with a ton of features the waypoints the follow me and all that stuff so the review when i do on this guy will have to be probably split up oh man we got some um i gotta go get me a knife got some stickers here on the side maybe can i get that off might be able to get that off yeah i got one off Let's see if i can get this off without using a knife i not turn up my box too bad either there there i got them off I almost got it out. There we go. Wow. Then we had to get a knife. Boom. Here's the uh, presentation. Look at that, man. Now, that's a nice looking quad, you know. Not too large, not too small. You know what I'm saying? Everything is labeled parts pack controller. You got the quad in the middle. So, let's check out the quad. <clears throat> really nice. It's supposed to have a 720p camera. It has a lens protector on there, so make sure you take that off. 720p camera. You know, make sure you take that guy off. Here's the underneath. There's a look like there's a QR code for the app or maybe or something like that. And SD card slot is let's see SD card slot is right there. Here's an SD card slot right there. Nice. Our batteries in here. Take this battery out. I'm not really sure how you take the. Okay. So you just. Uh, oop. I didn't mean to. I pushed it in to pull down. I guess. I done pushed the battery in. How do I get you out now, guy? Let me see. So you got the lift up. All right, lift up on this lever and lift up on this lever and pull the battery out. So here's the battery. Proprietary, of course. 3.7550. We already know that because the box said that. So let's just stick this kind of like halfway back in, not all the way in. So nice looking little battery, proprietary. You're gonna have to get batteries from them. Brushed, geared motors, of course. So you gotta be 
careful with that. You don't wear those out. Looks like it has some, like some eyes on the front that might light up, but look like yellow eyes right there. But it looks like it might have some LEDs in there. I'm not sure. Camera out front shows you that. Wi-Fi says right there. Nice, man. LEDs underneath. Pretty sure they'll flash different colors. Nice looking quiet, man. Hubson does a great job. That's pretty nice. I'll set it off to the side right now so I can go over the rest of the stuff that's in the box. Let's see, we got our controller. Bam. Bam, controller. I think it's gonna take four, yep, four AAA batteries for the back of that guy. So, altitude hold, of course. Let's see, foam mount right here. Power indicator right there, Bluetooth indicator, because I think you, you you hook this guy up to the phone through the Bluetooth. Okay, return the home button, power button, automatic takeoff, automatic land, photo video button up here. I'm not sure what these buttons do right here. I have to look. I'm not really sure what they do. So, yeah, man, nice, nice. Not too much to say about that. We'll put that back in the box. Let's go over the parts pack. Oh, prop protection. Let's try to check that out. Check that out. So you got your prop guards, beginners. If you want to use those, go ahead and do so, especially if you're going to be trying to fly this guy indoors. They do provide you with prop guards, even though I don't think you should be crashing the GPS drone that much, but you do get some. Instruction booklet, that's very important if you've never flown before and this happens to be one of your first quads And I do think this is a beginner quad. This is very nice for beginners. The whole setup should be a decent camera I mean, it ain't gonna be the greatest, but this should be this is a nice quad to get the beginners into the hobby And I think you know, so especially for beginners make sure you read that and check that out So you know everything that the quad does and how it performs Let's See if we get this parts pack out There we go. So here is our proprietary charger, you can see. You're probably gonna hook that up to the end of that battery that I showed you guys. Some extra props, all right? Like you got some extra hardware here, cool. Screwdriver, of course. And that's it, man. It's everything inside the box. So put my extra props back in there. I'll leave my charger out because I'm gonna charge it up to hopefully try to get a flight in today. So I'll leave that out. Bam. Instruction booklet. Put that back in there. Here's my controller. I'll take that out because I need to put some batteries in there for when I'm ready to fly. And there you have it, guys. So here we go. Bow. There you go. This is the H507A X4 Star Pro. I'm your boy Jones and Dogs, man. Appreciate you guys for checking me out on this quick unboxing on this nice GPS drone. Very inexpensive GPS drone from Hubson. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait to fly this guy. Like I said, hopefully I'll be able to get in the air today if it's not too windy. You know, I don't want to take it out on a super windy day with these brush gear motors and wear them out on the first trip. But I uh, appreciate you guys for joining me today. I'm your boy Drones and Dogs. Keep rocking with me. And uh, I'll check you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Deuces. I'm out.